Hello everyone. In this video we're going to take a few minutes to explore a technique or a part of multi-view sketching that lots of students have trouble with and that subject is hidden lines. Of course a hidden line is a dashed line that is used to illustrate or show an edge or a feature in an object that is hidden from view in a certain uh, view that you cannot see because there's solid material between the viewer and that edge or that feature. So we're going to take a look at how that works uh, using a pretty simple object that I have here. We'll kind of explain that and you can see that we've got a multi-view uh, drawing up here that already has hidden lines in it. So we're going to show you how these are derived and how we come up with those. So if you look in the bottom corner at the live window down there, I want to show you this object right here. This is a section of a doorway threshold piece. And if we rotate this around from this direction, I'm going to call this the front view of the object because this is the most characteristic shape. And you can see right here that kind of on the underneath side, it's got this notched out section which would let this slip over uh, a tile floor away and then transition into another room or something of that nature right there. So if I'm doing a multi-view sketch here and keep this as my front, you can see I would show this profile coming all the way around here and I could actually see this notched area on the underneath side. But if I then rotate this so that I am looking at the top of that piece, now I can no longer see that notched out section. It's hidden back underneath, back here. I know that it's there, but I can't see it with my eyes because there's solid material right here. And then by the same token, we got a circle here, which is a hole that goes all the way through that we could use this to attach to the floor where this is going to be placed. And in the top view, I can see that. But if I go back to my front view, I can't see that hole because I've got this solid material here which is between me and the hole. If I brought this around to the right side view, it would be the same thing. I can't see that hole because of the solid material that's here. So understanding that these features that are in this object, I can see in certain locations, but then in other views I cannot see them with my physical eye I still need some way to show those edges and those features so that someone who's going to make that part for me will know exactly how to handle it. So let's take a look and see how that plays out when we're actually making the three-dimensional sketch. So I'm going to set that right there looking at the front view so that we can refer to that if we need to. And then if we come over into our multi-view drawing, you can see in my front view right here, there is that notched out section right there. So this is what I'm going to be interested in. I can see that in the front view, but I'm interested to see where that goes in the top view. So what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> working with this one, I've just kind of made a working sketch on top of this drawing to help me illustrate some things. And I'm going to draw a line extending from this corner toward the top. And I'm going to make sure that I go straight up. Now this line is just for illustration purposes. So if I go up, I'll show you right there. My line comes right in alignment with this hidden line going up through here. So by projecting from the corner up toward the top view, I can see that edge has to line up right there. And since I have that solid material, I can't see it. Now, one of the places where students have a lot of issues um, is actually deciding, should this be a hidden line or should this be a solid object line or what should this be? So a little technique that I use is this. If I'm in this front view and I'm starting at this corner, notice when I project across there, I've got to go across the solid material of that front view of the object. This is solid material. I can see that over in my live window 
right here, that's solid. So by projecting across that solid, that tells me when I get up here to the top view to put that in, that needs to be a dashed hidden line. So we've already put that in across there. And that's got us in good shape on that one. If we come and project across to the right side view from this corner, which is the top of that notch, you can see there, then it actually lines up with a visible line that shows that edge over there. So at this point, we'll go to my right side view. I'd actually be able to see this line right here. And the one in the corner way back here lines up straight behind this one. So I'm going to show the visible line and not worry about a hidden line in that case. Uh, what about the circle? Circle's a little, little bit different item and that sort of thing. So let's see how that gets illustrated. All right, if I go back to my top view, I'm going to lay my object there like so just so you can see where we're coming from on that. It's basically the same thing. In the top, I can see the hole as being a circle. I can see that with my eye. I can see that over here on the object. That's visible to me. But when I start projecting from the front, and I start coming down, or excuse me, I project from the top coming toward the front, and I bring that line down there, See, I have to cross all this solid material on the top to get across there, which tells me the edge of that circle is going to be a hidden line in the front view. It would be the same thing on the other side, and it winds up being the same thing over in the right side view. Anytime we're cutting across solid material to get to the next view, then that's going to indicate in the second view there, in the other view, those edges or those features are going to show up as hidden lines, as dashed lines there. So this is one technique that you can use to help keep straight what's going to be visible and what's going to be hidden as you go from one view to the other. Just be sure you're projecting straight across. And if you're projecting across solid material in one view, that edge is going to become a hidden line in the next view. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, and if there are questions, you can always refer those to me. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll look for you in another video. Thank you.